The Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. The other day, we were graced with the presence of Osher Ginsberg. That's right, everybody. everything. We yeah. were Ginsberg'd in the flesh. Do you want right, to have a listen? Here we go. Uh, back on our screens on Monday night. I know. The yes. masked singer, mm-hmm. everybody, and the host with Eat it the most. The most? What? Yes. Osher Ginsberg. Certainly not the most money. Good morning. Hey. Oh, Osh- well, come on, mate. You've been around TV for a long, long and time. And you to take lower and lower rates. You host everything. <laughs> you host everything. And you're yeah. Gold Logie nominated, mister. Uh, I'm a Gold Logie nominated person. Oh, my God. And who forgot to give his room key card away. If either oh. of you wants to stay at the Crown Metropole, oh, okay. yes. bear in mind, it looks and smells like Tony Montana's bedroom. <laughs> um, there's a gold there's a gold yeah. plated glass walled lift in and there. And it seems to be yes, covered yes, in white no. powder. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm 13 years sober, mate. If anything, there's dead. Rub, so take it off your tongue, buddy. Don't rub that into your gums. And it'll hey, it'll you... feel like head and shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, he stops traffic. Well, also, um, it's not working. No. <laughs> when, you, when they put you up, right, yeah. um, Do you are you allowed to hit the minibar? What's the rules? I'm 13 years sober. And I was even no, saying... Like, no, but like, 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 like chocolates, like that Bengals, $300 juice. I'm what? also vegan and celiac, so I can't eat anything oh in there. Yeah. There's nothing left to live for. like, why did you put me there? Oh, because there's no boo and there's this is like yeah, but I haven't eaten meat since 1990-something. You'd be fine with a hammock in a park, wouldn't you? Oh, it'd be wonderful if you Don't got you one. think? That's what I feel like vegans would be happy with. And just and just when they're hungry, just, they, they just, or just, they just who scoop just... their hands onto the lawn and pick up whatever. Anyone who despises <laughs> gambling. Be, yes. Yeah, yeah. That'd be lovely. Asha, what's your fun thing to eat then? My fun thing to eat yes. is... If you're going to treat yourself. Oh, oh, my God. My wife is the most extraordinary cook. She, is she? Well, yeah. my, my wife's Fijian and, and just everything is amazing. Every Fijian piece of food is the best thing you've ever eaten. Really? Oh, because it's this glorious mix of Chinese and Indian and yeah, and, right. Fiji- and, and, and Indigenous Fijian, and it's ex- unbelievable. Give me some. I went to a wedding in Fiji. Yes. Yeah, we took a boat to get to. It was on an island that had got power six weeks before. Wow, we that's there. good. Jeez, that's man. How, so they good could timing. Watch, yeah. So they could watch the rugby. Of course. And <laughs> I was eating cassava. Out of an earth oven. I don't know what that is. Can you tell it's me a what root, is? It's a root, root vegetable. vegetable right? It's really... It's quite I've a... only eaten out of an earth oven once. It wasn't yes. for me. And it was... It's extraordinarily a high, highly calorie dense. It's the reason why many Pacific Islander people have a fair amount of size on yeah. any kind of yeah. white. So it's like a super right. sweet potato, isn't it? Is it's that close to that? super duper... Yeah. I was sitting there eating this kind of, you know, earth oven fired cassava watching the waves break as my son plays with the kids from the village going, yeah, this is all right. Yeah, <laughs> it's living. Don't worry, a couple of pigs went in there too. <laughs> <laughs> So, so it was, like, it was so dripping in pork belly fat. But oh, I no, 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 that. this is on the second. Okay, okay, so when you get home, though, so say we get home and we're starving and you just want to like make a sandwich or, yes. like, you know, yes. whatever. What's your version of just something quick to eat? So there's this amazing thing. It grows on trees. It's called fruit. No. What? No. Sorry, talk slower. But that's not fast food. Well, I guess, yeah. It well, comes so what's faster so than a banana, Sean? How do you, how do you deep fry that? <laughs> so you just have a bit of fruit. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, but like, what about when you've got a savoury, you need a savoury fix? Oh, mate, it's the peanut butter and banana, bro. It's the key to oh, success. Okay, that's a win. I've never put mate, those two things haven't together. Haven't you? Oh, yeah, no, they do go to... It's, it's the greatest yeah, thing in the world. world. Crunchy or soft? I am... How dare you? How dare you? Oh, crunchy. crunchy. It's crunchy, right? <laughs> I've upset him. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be crunchy. I, can you just, like, make sure he doesn't look me in the can eye? Can I tell you? I, and look, I thought that was a Only because anyway. I buy smooth. Do you? Yeah. So no, what do you have against texture? Get Natalie, out. I'm so single I won't even put those nuts in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Mars Singer, eh, Osh? <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, this is how you get nominated for your first radio award <laughs> in 20, 20 years. <laughs> there you go. Well, hey, Osh, the, the Mars Singer. Yes. One thing that gets me every year is when people start at the beginning, because we're guessing everybody, and they're just throwing it's up. It's not Beyonce. Guesses. It's not Beyonce. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I just do. get fired up. You do? Why, get, why are we, why are we guessing? Why are we guessing Beyonce? Well, I would I concede that the Beyonce guess is probably out out. But I will tell you, yes, this year everything else is on, on the, t- the table. Oh. So it could be anybody but Beyonce. Anybody but Beyonce. My favourite version was when it was COVID was on and people were guessing people that couldn't legally get in the country. Honestly, this season Lohan. is... This, oh. It's unbelievable. I, I didn't think we'd get to make two of them. We, yeah. This is our fifth time we're doing yeah. this. Yeah. And it's astounding. This is easily... For a silly show that means nothing that involves me going yes. the full Kermit screaming take yes. it off at a giant toothbrush. Yes. Um, when the head comes off, 
like the amount of times that we all just end up in tears crying because of, you know, just who who it is. Well, in the, in, in the US, didn't someone get sick of it, take their head off and say, I'm out? Probably. Yeah, there was some big celebrity that yeah. just took their head off and they said, no, no, don't do it. And they said, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. But honestly, Mask is mask is just so, it's so emotional. I'd never, be, I'd never believe that this show, which means nothing, it's just preposterous fun, would have us all crying when the heads come off. Who's been the best singer that you've actually had on there? The, the one that you've gone, that is a cracking voice oh, regardless of mate, it's the level. Mate, Destiny's Child. We had Michelle from Destiny's yeah. Child. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no but I mean... You have been I'm in radio so voting. long. Oh, you you know are so jaded. Because, because the kids are so jaded. jaded. Queen V. And then we got Kelly that we've seen yeah. a lot. And we've yeah. gone, yeah, there's like, another chick. Oh, so and Michelle. jaded. And there's another chick, you know that? There was a fourth. Was there yeah. a fourth wheel? Yeah, there was. She found out um, she wasn't in the band by listening to radio. <laughs> 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 Latoya, yeah, someone was Terrible. Yeah. Was what terrible. was her name? Latoya something? Was it Latoya? Something along those lines. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Michelle Williams, unbelievable. We had Anastasia on. That was Anastasia. Yeah. We had Macy, Set me Macy free. Gray. We had Macy Gray on. It was like we have the most yeah. incredible voices. They have to really disguise their voices though, because they're quite well known. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So um Oh yeah. Anastasia's was wicked. Yeah. Yeah. Macy yeah. Gray, that was a moment in time, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. I try to say goodbye and I joke where <laughs> That was pretty good, pretty good, pretty, pretty much it. For a white bloke. <laughs> <laughs> it, was I'm the, it was the best white man, <laughs> Macy Gray, that I've ever heard. Oh, I'd listen to that mm. podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, you can check out... You've got a bell! Oshie Ginsberg's yes. fine work on ma- the Masked Singer, called? Channel 10, This is how you get nominated for a rack mm. yeah. Once every 20 years. You're yeah. so right, tell me what rumbles. <laughs> you don't wait for your panel operator to hit the button. You do it oh, yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-assessed. I 7 30 Monday night, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Osh. Thanks, Osh. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Were you just getting in some bags of potting mix ahead of Costa joining the I'm always us? getting bags of potting mix. Mean goes from like you wouldn't believe. What, is she joke. eating it? What's she doing with it? Mm. Blood and bone stinks, doesn't it? Yeah, all of it. All of it. Well, Sean's outraged because the council um, fertilised the oval yesterday. Absolute <laughs> a-hole. Right. So, Sean, move, speak about it in a nice way. No, I'm going to no, wait till I... Monday and I'm going to go off me nut. Because <laughs> I know. want an outcome because there's going to be some changes. I know, because everyone know what's happening. You went to go and do your well, final footy scrape training. It. You they're went, to, scrape you it went to go do your final footy training. Everyone had the Ahead dates. Ahead of the grand final. Yeah, so the uh, the council, which I won't name just now, but I will name on Monday, um, they had a conversation with my football club and they worked out between them that they would topsoil the oval, put all the stuff on it and um, get it ready for cricket season in, after. In, in about 10 days' time. Yeah. They set a date, which was mm. after the footy season and after the final war, uh, wind, wind up. up. Yeah, because the wind whole up thing is like a bit of a, a yeah. fun of the fair kind so of thing. So the numpties decided yesterday the to. The numpties, see, that's where the language. Yes. Because we're on the, the wireless. The council uh, workers. People can hear this conversation mm. we're having privately. So when you say numpties, that's where you're going wrong. Yeah. So let's move forward carefully. Go. Okay. So the great folk who work <laughs> in the Department of, I guess, Parks and Reserves. Recreation. And all that. No. They decided that I don't, think, that I don't they, think that council's big enough to have departments. That they would take it upon themselves to then go, no, up yours, we'll uh, uh, do it today. No, so they spread, up yours. No, no. They went, no, the lawn is something that all the community needs and we're worried sick about it, so we better get on that now is what they thought. Even ahead despite, of the agreed des- date. Despite the agreed date and confirmed... Um, emails. Mm. So there were big the piles of fertiliser yeah. that they then spread around mm. and then covered that in yellow sand, yes. which renders the oval um, unusable. Useless. Unusable, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the dogs were happy. They were rolling yeah, in it. That was good. I appreciate but, that. So when I discuss, when I um, touched base with, um, they'd said because you were supposed to be training last mm-hmm. night for the first time, yes. for the last time before the grand final. Yes, and the lady was lovely who I spoke to, and she oh, couldn't put n- me. Is that is that numpty Nina? <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't put me through to anyone because they'd all of gone course home. Everyone had gone home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> council workers went home early. <laughs> Bizarre man. Bizarre. Anyway, I think it was probably very beneficial mm. well, for the for the longevity of the Oval. Well, Costa can tell us uh, shortly yeah, yeah, how good yeah. it is for the lawn yeah. to be talking. Anyway, I haven't let it go, and I will have another say about Why this. Why didn't you Monday. take the kids to train on one of the fields at the back of your mansion? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, righto, mate. It's the Nathan, Matt and Sean podcast. It's not easy. Being green is not. Really not. It's true, no. as we all know. <laughs> Having to spend each hey, um, day on ABC Kids at 7.05 tonight. Yes. I show 
Gardening Australia Junior. Well, I think it's my junior. junior. It's kids gardening. Oh, and of course, who else would you get to host Gosh. that but Costa Georgiatis? Our friend Costa, hello. Um, <laughs> divine intervention, divine intervention, gardening Australia has Soak it given in. birth to a child. <laughs> Soak it in, Costa. It's weird, Costa, because I'm thinking the only way you can get children to garden in these mm. names is if, if, if PS2. Mm. Yeah, was attached yes. to it, Nath? Or they released the game of... Yeah, like a Fortnite style. A Fortnite style, style gardening <laughs> day, game. Yeah. That. But you're telling me that real children went outside away from devices and put their hands and in, dug a hole. in soil? <laughs> they did all that no. and more. No, fanciful. They Didn't happen. Do kids they like gardening or do they have to be sort of convinced? I wouldn't say convinced. I think they <laughs> just have to be introduced. Sure. <laughs> They've got to make friends. And... Um, Look, I think for me what's key to all of this is curiosity mm. and and inquisitiveness. Kids mm. are inquisitive. Mm. And, you know, generally, and I won't, I won't mention anyone on the team there, but generally <laughs> um, there's a jadedness around <laughs> yes. children's enthusiasm, right? Right. And they, they ask questions, questions, questions. Oh, oh yeah. why? Why is this? Why? For me, every time I hear why... I will hammer back an answer and I don't dumb anything down. I just keep going back and say, because this. Oh, why is that? Oh, because blah, blah, blah. Why is that? Blah, blah, blah. And then they're settled and they're done. It just will not go on forever. But Costa, most people give up. I, I, I haven't even known this. Are you a father? Uh, I'm a godfather to many. Okay, because... because yeah, I'm a godfather. I'm a godfather. <laughs> from, hearing, from hearing an adult say they're going to answer every one of the child's questions, yes. obviously they're not a parent. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that. Because when you're a parent, what would you do? <laughs> do you answer every question? Or no, you're like, shut question, up. That's it. Move on. <laughs> oh, I would find that Costa, they, with, with the kids, and we, we, we've seen the um, preview of the kids and you're getting mm. them out there. At some stage, he, here's the thing, how do you keep them involved? Because at some age they realise that it, it, there's a work thing attached to oh, going in the garden it's like and doing a chore. stuff. You've got yeah. to trick them. So, ha- yeah, w- well, what's your plan? I think the, the, the plan's pretty simple because when, when you start to connect them into it, like, they've got to see, see those threads yes. and, and you bring them in and you say, all right, we're going to build a little uh, bird bath or a nature, a little, a little pond, mm. and that's going to bring the insects. But to bring more insects will plant these native plants ah, ah, and, that, and that will bring the birds. But which birds are they? Oh, well, let's look up BirdLife Australia. Oh, and there's a group of birders. Mm. Why don't we go and meet them? And then those birders say, oh, well, the insects, there's, 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 a, there's a backyard bird count. And why don't you join the backyard bird count? And connect with iNaturalist. They and sound Atlas like really nerdy kids. <laughs> no, Sean, but think about it. We're talking about online. Yeah. Fortnite is building something yes, online. Yes. These kids are actually like, Doing to it. build this, you need, if you build this, this will come. If you build that, that will happen. Yeah. It's a very clever it, way there, Costa. Mm. Exactly, because then you get them involved with the wild pollinator count and they start to do that activity. And then one of the stories is about seeds and seed saving. And nothing's dumbed down in any of these apps. It's like that they learn and, and even. Um, that they went to the WA Seed Bank. We one of one yeah. of the stories. Uh, the kids went to the, the AA, WA Seed Bank, and really, and they start to learn about seeds and see what they can do. But if if they connect with seeds, then that story goes to the next level and say, "Oh, now I'm going to grow them, but I'm yeah. going to save seeds." And if I save seeds, I can then share and swap them, and so I can go down to the local community. Oh, no, 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 I'm sounding drug dealing yes, now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I mean. It does too. <laughs> Some, uh, what, what are you subterfuge? Yeah. It's subterranean yeah. and it's subterfuge. Yeah, it's a dark <laughs> web now. What do you What do you reckon you should get kids to grow for the most? You know, that packs the most punch. Is it things that they can eat? Is it things that grow quickly? Yep. Is it Is things it that, that attract, Always you know, hydros. bird That's life? Or what, what do you reckon they should grow? <laughs> I was just hearing that shortling, <laughs> jaded individual in the back there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that person just popped in the left. <laughs> chopping us down. Chopping us down like a good green manure crop, which is good. Um, what, what should they grow? I, I, think, I think there's a combo here. You, you start to grow those edibles, what you can do is create the teas. Life's about the teas. You know, we plant the carrots 
And then you wait, can we get them yet? No, no, wait, wait. Can okay. we get them yet? Or the snow piece, can mm. we pick it yet? No, no, let's watch it. Come on, let's go out in the morning and check it out. All right, let's see what happens when you come home from school this other. Is it ready yet? Oh, wait, wait. No, I'll present it on the plate at, at 6.30 in the evening yeah. and start food wars. Like, And then you can, you can say, oh, look, it's ready. Snap, you know, or beans. Beans are a cracker to pick fresh off the vine. Yeah, yeah, that's you, you just eat this. It's like a garden lolly. You know, a so garden, like, what, 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 what's a, a garden, a garden a lolly? Bean. A green a bean. bean. Costa, Costa, Costa. No. <laughs> hey, hey, Costa, I hated beans growing up. I used to put them in my pocket at the dinner table and then go and flush them down the dunny. Yeah, but when... that, that's because you didn't that's because they were steamed. They would have been yes. steamed to within an <laughs> yes, inch they of were. their life. Yes. Boiled, they would have stunk. Why do our know? parents think that, that was the stung. answer when they were cooking in our day? We'd just boil the that, shit no, out but of Think it. about it. Our parents back then would just boil meat. Yes. Boil meat. <laughs> Stop putting everything yeah. in water like a witch of the cauldron. <laughs> like, yeah. hit a grill. You hit can... a grill. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can actually go to you know there's 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 some places now that that get just lightly steamed beans and instead of having a packet of chips you have lightly steamed greens with a bit of chili oil or a bit of lemon and salt on the top they are sensational so you know or if you want to go closer like you know cherry tomatoes they're a great thing for kids to be able to just graze on and yeah. snack on yeah you know, almost like a Jaffa. They're the Jaffa of the garden. They are not the Jaffa, <laughs> Jaffa of the garden. Oh Go to Jaffa. I'm Jaffa. not with you sometimes. <laughs> you believe that, mate? I didn't think. <laughs> <laughs> What's the asparagus? <laughs> <laughs> well, it just, I mean, you, you normally can tell, you know, some people there's a bouquet about asparagus, isn't there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there yeah, is. there is. I, um, you either do or you don't know that one. Yeah. <laughs> it is really great, like, I... Uh, we sort of laugh, but like kids do get really into this. Um, my um, my mate's or wife bought his daughters uh, some butterflies that hatched. Mm. They came like you know, and, and the girls were getting up every day to oh, see if the yeah. butterflies hatching. So to us, yeah. it's a bit fun. But mm. I suppose we don't have that keen exploration as a child does. I do have to tell you though, um, Costa, we did book week the other week, and we went to a primary school. And we spent the whole morning there. We were Unreal. we were separated by the children because we were on a stage. Mm. But yeah, we went down to the kids sometimes. We were so exhausted by the end of that show. Yes. Just with the presence of all the kids around because it is, it's is—it's an exhausting thing. And I was looking at the teachers thinking, how amazing are they? Because not only are they yeah. teaching, that was before 9 o'clock. Yes. They had the whole day to go. And some of those teachers are parents yes. that then go home and look after their own children. How are you after a day of filming with kids? Are you wiped? I've been sort of working with kids for many years now and... and I sort of got a, I don't know, there's a feedback loop. I get so much from them. I, 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 it actually energises me. And when I when I engage with them and talk to them, the more I get to their level, then the less drain there is because I don't feel like uh, I'm trying, trying to be something. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I'm actually, okay, this is how you're seeing it. But now that I see how you're seeing it, I'm not pushing and pulling against that, you know. Uh, I'm actually helping you guide and, and, and explain and then together we, we come up with it. So, yeah, through, through you know, lots of time, you know, working with kids, in not just in telly but in community and at schools and working in the garden, working in, you know, and I refer, I've refereed kids' sport for, for decades and... And you know it's the communication when the when the when the line of communication's there, it doesn't become draining for me. So no, I'm not buggered. It's a good opportunity, to, um, you know, to work out your new fart gags too with kids. Always fine. Oh, Sean 100%. said fart gags there, yes. everybody, because yes. it sounded like yeah. something else. Sean. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> oh yes, it did. I want to clarify that fart. was fart. Oh, definitely fart, fart. gags. Yeah, love it. Yes, Costa. Thank you, Costa Georgianis. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Gardening Australia Junior kicks off tonight on ABC yeah, Kids, no, just, just really? after seven o'clock. <laughs> New episodes drop weekly at the same time. <laughs> it's always how, a pleasure, Costa. How do you manage those other two kids? 
I don't know, Costa. I really don't. I really don't know, Costa. I deserve a medal. That was directed to me. No, you weren't. (laughs) You were talking to me, weren't you, Costa? I'm I'm talking to ye who is not asking me who I was talking to. Ah, yes. Yes. (laughs) Thanks, Costa. So that explains it. Yeah, pleasure. We'll catch up again soon. Happy gardening. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.